Welcome back. Today in Fly Fishing Basics, I'm going to go through probably the most basic of all, putting your rod together. I know it sounds pretty simple, but it's amazing to me and over 40 years of guiding, almost that many years of owning a fly shop, I honestly have never seen anybody put a fly rod together right. And I'm going to show you what my idea of right is. Hopefully it helps you. Uh, get your rod together straight also helps you not flex the rod and drop your reel in the, the dirt So you got basically two different styles of rod tubes nowadays. You've got the like this is the, the sage rod tube There is no bag in this one and in a lot of them There's a bag and you know, it's kind of a mix right now the companies are doing it different But I'm gonna start with the bag just so you can see because I'm gonna put the rod together I'm gonna take the rod apart put it back in the bag and just so you can see the proper way to do it. And this is, I think, I, I don't know, this was beat into my brain when I was a kid because I rarely got to fish with my dad's bamboos, but when I did, there was this protocol. And, but I swear to you, I, I have literally never seen anybody do it uh, what I consider right. So what most people do is they reach over here, they pull, I don't know if it's because the butt section's biggest, uh, but they tend to take the butt section first and start there. And so what happens is you get your rod together and you start getting this heavy end back here swinging around and then you hear them hit the dirt with it like that. And a lot of people will put the reel on before they put the rod together so then you hear thump and down goes the reel into the dirt. And there's a couple problems with that. One, it's just basic physics. It's really heavy when it gets out there, so now it's you can't really hold the tip and get it together without it being in the dirt. So here's how you're going to start from now on. You're going to start with your tip top and your second section, if it's a four piece. If it's a two piece, obviously you just put it together. But most rods are multi-sectional nowadays and there's not as many two pieces. And so the first thing you're going to see is we're going to put, when you put the rod together, you start with your tip and your second section and there's a proper way to do this too. You're not supposed to like jam these things in and make them really tight. You, ideally what you do is you start at a 45 degree angle. So this guides you know straight away and this one's straight up and then on a lot of the rods and you'll see here there's these little dots. Not all of them have it. All right. If they have the dots it's simple. You put it in a 45 degree angle you twist and push lightly. You don't push these in really tight. You just push them so they're locked and you simply align these guides. You know, or I'm not the guides, excuse me, these dots. If you don't have that, you do it just like the same way. You come in here, just a snug fit like that, and then you turn them and you simply look down your rod like this. You just sight down it, right? Way down and just make sure everything's right and go. When you do that, Try not to grab your, your guides proper. Try to be around them so you're right there, but you don't want to twist on your guides, all right? So the second, you got get your first, your second. Now we're going to take this third piece here. Same thing, just, just same thing. Go with your rotation, put it in, align your dots or look down it. And now what you're seeing is I have the butt section last. And so I never once, the, it didn't get heavy on the end, so if you do it the other way, your butt section's down in the dirt by now. Now we're the last one, just align your guides, and boom, you're done. Now, so that's how you put it together. To take it apart, you do the exact same thing. You start in reverse. Take the butt section, take this, and you walk down it. You don't go from the tip first. You start at the butt, you've got them all here. And now the last part. When you're putting this back in the bag, there's actually a proper way to do this. And, it's, and what it's for is for t protecting the tip. And that, this stuff's all pretty beefy, right? This stuff's not going to get hurt. But you can, you can break a tip doing this, and you can do it putting it in the bag. And I've seen a lot of that happen. I've seen a lot of people break these putting them in the bag. So here I've got my, this is, and they're, they're sectioned off, one, two, three, four. First piece that goes in is the, the butt section, and it sticks up. You always have the butt section here, you'll see why in a second. And you take your third section, which would be the butt, and then this is three, or two, I mean, and you put that bigger guide down. And you do that so you're not fighting this. If you have the big section here with this bigger first strip guide, when you go to roll this up, they fight themselves. 
So you put this one upside down so the big guy goes down. So you see what we're doing. We're getting a heavy part here and a heavy part here. Take the third section, put it in. I go with that one down too. And then most important is your tip. Don't ever put these tips in first like this because you got a really good chance of pushing that down. You just get hung up a little bit on the bag and you bend that and break your tip. And the other portion of this is this butt section that we put in up is going to protect the tip when it's in here. So this one goes in, ferrule down, tip up. And so now you can see they're all sitting up here. I'm going to push them out just a little bit, right? And so they're all sitting there. And when they're in the bag, nice, all the way down where they belong, fold this over, and then you're just going to wrap the bag. They've all got a, most of them got a tie on them, right? And so you just go around like this and you tie it off, put it in the bag. But the point of that is, the reason you do that is that when this is going, this is, they're the same length. So if something bumps this really hard, that's going to take the impact and your rod tip's not going to get hit. So it's pretty simple. You just put it together, roll it up, back in the back, back in the tube it goes. Now, given that you have one of these type tubes, right, the one that doesn't have a bag, it's internal. Can you see in there, is it? In there, you've got, you've got four sections in this just as well. Same thing. Put your butt section in first, put that in right down. There's always, that'll be the middle, almost always, the biggest one. And then do the same thing. Take your next piece with your strip guide. It goes in next so you're not fighting it. Last one is going to be your tip top. It's going to be right there. It's pretty easy. Saves you reel, saves you rot your butt section, getting put in the dirt and scratching it all up, whatnot. The biggest thing though is, is you can align them properly. The heaviest part is the last one that goes on. Your rod tip's sitting out there how it's supposed to. You never bump it in the dirt. Saves your equipment. Hope it helps you out. Thanks.